Hi there, Cancers, and this is your 2020 yearly tarot reading forecast with me, Chrissy, from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. So, in this video, we are going to be talking about what is going to be happening for you for the entire month, entire year of 2020 for the upcoming year ahead. So, how this reading goes is that I pick one card per month just to give us a general overview on what is going to be unfolding for you so that you can be able to prepare, anticipate, and see the energies in place. And if there are any opportunities that come or any warning, you will be able to um, prepare ahead of time. So it can be very insightful and helpful for you guys if you are interested. So um and if you are, just stay with me and we'll go by this one by one. So the first card that you have is the Wheel of Fortune for January. February, you do have this Four of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups, Two of Swords, Four of Cups, Star Cards, Devil, Seven, of pentacles, six of pentacles rather, and the knight of wands. And one thing that I have noticed is that there is a lot of water energy coming in here. So this could be a very emotional emotional year for you. I'm so not used to doing yearly forecasts. I keep saying month. Anyway, so the energy for 2020 is very emotional for you. So there could be a lot of benefits that you can gain a lot of emotional growth that can come for you for the year of 2020. Now, you are starting the year with the Wheel of Fortune card. And this is about uh, faith or some form of a karmic development in your life. It could be that whatever you have been waiting for for the past few years, past few months, even during 2019, this could be the time we're in it's happening now. You are going to be receiving something for this um, month. The will of fortune is like, you know, a, literally a will. So if it, if, whenever it comes for you in the future, it is telling us that, you know, whatever that has been stagnant in your life, the wheel is turning. It's about to move forward. So there is a form of gift, a form of, um, an offer that is going to come for you and it will be up to you whether to accept that or not whether to take hold of that opportunity or not but I would say that when, if ever anything comes up any opportunities that come in for you accept it because it it has a form of gift and it can give you some form of success it can um, give you some form of fulfillment in your life. And this could be something that you have been waiting for for such a long time as well. So you might as well accept it anyways. So, and it can actually change your life, you know. This Wheel of Fortune can really map out everything that is going to be happening for you for the entire 2020. And just looking at all of the cards, I say that 2020 for you, is a, is a year of good fortune, a lot of benefits, and a lot of coming together all at the same time. On February, you do have this Four of Wands. This is about happiness and celebration. You could be forming a partnership or alliance with someone, and it's probably something that you are going to be having fun with, something that you will appreciate. It could be someone that is really important to you as well. This can be, you know, uh, career-wise, work, or a love affair as well. Whatever situation this is, it is something that can you can really rejoice with. Also, this is telling us there is going to be balance between your work life and your love life. So there is really nothing you can ask for whenever this card comes up. Because it is like an epitome of telling you that there is going to be peace in your life. So as we move into March, we do have this Nine of Pentacles. And this is 
a point wherein you are receiving everything that you ever wish for. This can be a situation wherein you you have a lot of riches in you. Maybe you will be receiving a lot of money, a lot of comforts in life. This talks about abundance as well. Also, I, I just kind of feel that it has a lot to do with what you are wishing for, what you want to bring into your life. And this is a time wherein you are being reminded to, um, to, to really treasure the things that are in your life right now. Treasure the moment, treasure and appreciate each and every moment of your life because, you know, there are just things that, that are quite fleeting. Some scenarios are fleeting. So, so it's better to, you know, spend, spend some form of gratitude, appreci appreciation to the people that are in your life right now. It has that form of energy when I, whenever I'm channeling and picking it up as I connect with this card. So, um, yeah, this is not the time for you to get, to get really, um, to get arrogant. Just because you have so much, this could be the time that, you know, it would best for you to donate. Donate, give love, offer some form of sincerity to other people. People that don't have anything, you might as well give back what you have received from the past. Because, you know, I don't know, it just makes me feel that, you know, it can give you some form of help and guidance in the future if you do that. And if you turn in to being very arrogant, I kind of feel that that is going to hit you in the back later on because let us not forget that on January, you do have this karmic card of the Wheel of Fortune. And I'm saying this to all of the signs that the January card, the first card that you have is very important because it carries over the energies of the entire year. So since karma is big for you, if you are receiving a lot during this month, you might as well give back. And at the same time, if you feel that you are not receiving anything at all, this could be a time wherein you will receive a lot. And it's based upon your own attitude with life, with your hard work. It's basically... Um, that energy of reaping what you sow, that kind of situation. So uh, let's move on to April. You do have the Two of Swords, and this is about um, making a decision, reflecting on things. It can also be a form of meditation. Maybe you are about to make a venture, make a decision of some kind. You are stuck up upon something and, you know, there are just two things that you are deciding upon. And this is a situation wherein you cannot allow other people to decide for you. It is something that you have to decide for yourself all at the same time. So, yeah, there is something that you need to be thinking about on April. As we move into May, we do have this Seven of Swords. So this is about, you know maybe a tricky situation or a situation that requires a lot of planning. With this energy in place, you might have a lot of things in your mind and maybe you are, you know, um, carrying a lot of burden. This could be a situation wherein information and insights are very important and you need to know uh, what are the information that is true what are the information that is beneficial for you and what isn't as well? This can be a time wherein you might be so hard on yourself, thinking very critical on, on yourself as well. Try to avoid that if you can. I mean, I really feel that you deserve a lot more loving care, cancers, and you don't need to always be so hard on yourself. 
also if you you don't have to carry the burden all alone. You can rely to someone else as well. Rely on your partner, rely on your family member if you can. They are going to be willingly to help you with your um, ventures in life and all of that. As we go on to June, we do have this Ten of Cups. So this is about celebrations, happiness, getting together. And this is a signal that all is good. There is no need for you to fret over a lot of things. This can be also you attending a social gathering or there could be a marriage in the picture. This could be your marriage or you might be attending a marriage event, a wedding event, wherein you might meet um, people that can bring you some form of joy and laughter. And speaking of that, you also have this uh, Two of Cups on the month of July. So maybe you are going to be meeting someone in a specific event, a social event, meeting someone and maybe there is some form of partnership that can come with that. So for July, you do have this Two, uh, two of Cups and it's all about partnership. It could be a karmic one, a soulmate, but it's definitely going to be like a meant to be energy as well. Try not to get overwhelmed though. You have this Wheel of Fortune on top of this card and you have the Four of Cups um, for August. So this relationship, whatever this is, you might be getting overwhelmed. You might be, you know, a lot of your fears can be creeping up. But I would say that to enjoy the moment, enjoy every bit of moment you have with this person and you don't need to um, think negatively you don't need to to um, be suspicious about each and everything if the person is going to be true to you if they are going to be there for you in the future uh, those things are irrelevant at this time what is really important is that you enjoy the moment you enjoy all the good things that are happening and sometimes you know that is really what you need to do. You need to be happy and not try to worry about all the things that are unnecessary. And the things that you're thinking about maybe not are not going to happen anyway. So try to focus on what you have at, at that moment, especially on um, August with this Four of Cups. So don't think about what does not exist. Think about what you have. And if it's this partnership, then think about that person, that relationship, and focus on that. We do have this star as we move on the month of September. And this can be a very hopeful month. This can be a month of manifestation. Something can really come into your life that can bring you some form of hope, some form of optimism. Uh, there could be a situation wherein it, it can also be making you a lot emotional and a very intuitive and insightful month for you. So there could be a lot of psychic downloads happening as well. This can be a scenario wherein you might just be enjoying life. A lot of harmonious things are happening to you. And I kind of feel that this can be the energy wherein you are starting to feel that everything that is happening in your life is all good and you might be overwhelming it, it might be overwhelming for you but try not to think about other things this is the time for you to focus on the light focus on the good because all good things are really coming to you and learn to get used to being happy learn to get in use to uh, basking yourself with good fortune and good blessing because this is what you have. You deserve it. You have been having a rough uh, years or months in the past and this is the time of your life and yeah, enjoy it. And then as we go over to October, you do have this devil card and with this star card and devil card together, I kind of feel that, you know, you might be in a very passionate sexual relationship. We do have a lot of nudes here. So, yeah, there could be a lot of sex, a lot of fun, a lot of playful event. Also, this can bring in a lot of emotions in you. 
you might be enjoying a lot of things. You need to be careful of temptations, though. It is going to be very, very strong. Also, this can be a signal of meeting someone, like a soulmate or, or twin flame relationship. Because whenever this card comes up, I feel that, you know, something inevitable is going to be happening. It's something that you cannot avoid. It is really going to happen, whatever situation that is. So there is no, really no use of debating if something is going to happen or not. This is already a big signal that something is really going to happen in your life. As we go to November, we do have this Six of Swords. So this can be a card of travel, moving on, moving forward, and just going forward with life. This could be a scenario wherein you have plans of, um, I don't know, pushing through something, pushing through adventure, adventure. You are moving on with something in your life. It does not mean that you're leaving someone or anything like that. I mean, this is just a general reading. So all I can say is that there is an energy hub, energy of moving forward and, you know, just a very harmonious time as well. I would say this can be a time of travels as well or um, progression in your life, which can be very harmonious all at the same time. So as we end the, the month, um, the year, I keep saying month, I'm sorry. As we end the year of 2020 for December, we do have this Knight of Wands. So this could be a particular person in your life or it could be a certain scenario that comes in your life. And this can be quite upbeat. So this can be definitely be a travel. Also, I will have to say that maybe um, there is a need for, to be careful because maybe you are already in a partnership, but then someone comes along. So um, yeah, you might be debating uh, on some form of partnership. Maybe, you know, you are attracting, you are becoming very attractive and attracting a lot of people in your life, this, even if you are already in a partnership. I mean, that is just one possibility. So, um, yeah, it's up to you to decide on what you should do about that. But this nine of wands also um, has an energy of that lacks lack some form of stability, like I'm doing something by impulse and I might not be pursuing that whatever I am, I've set my, my eyes on. So it could be a business that you wanted to start and then at the middle of it, you just wanted to to scratch it and move to another venture, another business idea. So you need to know that this person, the Knight of Wands, is really good when it comes to ideas of what he wants to do, what he wants to um, take action on, but it doesn't mean that he will take action upon it. It's like a kid who, who likes everything that he sees, but it does not mean that they are serious about it. So if this is the person that you need to be careful about. And if this is a scenario, it could be a news that you are, that is coming for you. Whether you expect it or not, it is going to surprise you anyway. So yeah, I would say it's a very, very wonderful year for you guys, Cancers. And you do have the advice card here of the three of pentacles so this is a teamwork card this is an area of working together maybe finally having a partnership finally having a relationship it could be some form of documents that needs to to be worked on and it could be some form of communication that is going to push through what is big here is that, you know, working together, having a form of communication and connections to people is very important. So this is never and not going to be a time of isolation. So there is definitely going to be a form of contact, social agreements, and um, maybe marriage as well. This can be a card of marriage, 
sometimes a card of divorce, but at this time, I'm not seeing that. Though, again, this is a general reading, so I have no idea. But anyways, this is a form of progression wherein, you know, I see the Three of Pentacles as a form of a ladder that you're, you're either going up or you're going down. But regardless of your, if you are going up or down, it is something that you are initiating. So whatever it is that you want to work on, you are definitely going to be working on that for the year of 2020. So um, yeah, Cancer, you are having a whole lot of things on 2020 and it's all good. So I'm happy for you guys. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so, so you get updated on my next few videos. Um, similar to this one that I'm posting right now. Also, um, yeah, if you'd like a more personal reading with me, just go to my website in the starsbychrissy.com and I'll see you guys again next time.